my agent, Andrea, had come to them and said, you know, here is somebody who understands all the things that Brennan writes about because he's lived them. And in his fiction, he doesn't shy away from challenging subjects. And Brennan was known in the Christian community as someone who told the hard truth about himself, about other people, about the relationship we have with God. Um, there are aspects of Brennan's life that made people very uncomfortable. Uh, he was a priest who left the priesthood to marry. And um, so they felt like they needed someone who could tell the truth in fiction in the same way that Brennan had told the truth in nonfiction. Yeah, there are a lot of things about Prodigal um, that make it one of the, I think, most retold stories. When I was checking our title, I discovered that there actually are a number of books called The Prodigal or The Prodigal Son. Um, and of course, our rationale was, well, none of them were written by us. And uh, so we thought, well, this is a great title. We'll go ahead and keep it. But I think a lot of times when people hear the word prodigal, they think that uh, it applies to their son who comes back and throws himself at his father's feet and is repenting. But I mean, if you look at the definition of the word, I mean, prodigal means wasteful, you know, extravagant. Uh, the prodigal goes out and spends the inheritance that his father has given him while still alive. Um, he wastes it all in riotous living, as the King James Version would have it. And um, so that prodigality is that he is taking all the things that he has in the world and basically just throwing them away. And uh, certainly that's what's happening with our character. He throws away his family, he throws away his career, he throws away um, his uh, respect, he throws away the reputation that he's built up. But I think in every telling of the story what happens is you throw away these things but you get something back. And the whole idea behind the, pro the prodigal, both in Jesus' telling and our telling, is that you lose all these things that seem to matter so much, but you get back what really does matter. And in our story, we wanted Jack to discover a, a new way of being human, a new way of being Christian, a new way of serving God, a new way of being a pastor, if that's his destiny, that is truer to the God who throws out this extravagant love and grace.